Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Edwin, the comic jabroni, coming at you again. Today is Thursday, the 28th of February, and I'm dropping two videos in one day? What am I thinking? But today, while I was at the house, I got an email that one of my packages from uh, eBay came in the mail. So instead of waiting to do an unboxing, I really wanted to open this up because I want to see what's in it. Obviously, I know what's in it, but I want to see the condition these books came in. And I wanted to make a video to show you guys what kind of things is Edwin buying on eBay. So, a package came in today, and it is from Gauntlet Comics in Nor North Miami, Florida. So, let me, uh, let me know. Are any of you guys from the Miami area, do you guys go to Gauntlet Comics? So, as you guys know, I've talked about in the past uh, some of the the other live streams that I've been on and some of my other videos, I am trying to complete the Batman No Man's Land run. The issue with this run is that it just it doesn't just cover uh, the Batman series and Detective Comics series. It's also in Shadow of the Bat, Asriel, Agent of the Bat, Legends of the Dark Knight, uh, Catwoman, uh, Robin, there is also a Justice League in here, Nightwing. I mean, there are so many comic series included in this Batman No Man's Land. It's 100 issues. The good thing I can say is that uh, in the DC Universe app, I don't know if you guys have subscribed to that, but they just added all 100 issues of Batman No Man's Land. So I have been reading through the series, and if you guys aren't familiar with it, uh, this was a series that came out in the late 90s. Uh, Gotham was hit with uh, a huge earthquake and the United States government uh, shut Gotham down, right? They, they, blew up the, uh, they blew up the bridges that lead out of Gotham. Um, there's nobody in, nobody out. They won't let anybody in to, you know, to protect these people or to give them any type of aid. They're not letting anybody out. And if anybody comes out, they're getting shot. It kind of reminds me of uh, The Dark Knight Rises, right? Batman uh, with Bane in it and how they shut Gotham down, right? And they set the military, uh, the military posts up right there outside of the, the bridges and weren't letting anybody in and out. So anyways, it's a run that I want. Um, I want to read more Batman, as much Batman as I can. And I know this is one of the big ones. So I went on eBay and started looking up Batman No Man's Land and I saw this lot in there and I was... Uh, at the price that they had it at. And one of the books that's in there is, uh, it's a semi-key book. So I pretty much, man, this is a horrible job here. Um, I pretty much paid, you know, for that book and uh, kind of got the rest of them for free. Uh, I'm hoping these came in better condition than what they look. This doesn't look good, guys. in threes what are you guys do gauntlet comics you do not ever get my damn you never get at this point i'm just recording this uh so when i send these books back and they wonder why i'm sending them back ebay will not have any issues with me getting my money back because this is ridiculous this is ridiculous guys this is not how you send books. If you're an eBay seller, this is not this is not what you do to customers, you know, that spend money on your books. You don't send them, you know, unbagged and boarded. So anyways, I'm going to show you these books, but I am not happy with them at all. Let's open up this first bag. I'm going to end up I'm going to end up sending these back, guys. They're not Look at that. Look at this. Check that out. What the hell? So, uh, I knew these were going to be in. So, we got Batman, Batman 565. It's two, two issues of that. Five sixty-five. We've got Batman 
568. Two issues there. You know, and I looked at this person's, you know, ratings and reviews, you know, on uh, on eBay, and everybody said they were a good eBay seller. Nobody, nobody told me this is the condition that they were going to send the books. And what's absolutely amazing to me is that the books aren't trash. I really thought they would have been trashed. Uh, here's Batman 564. Wow. Guys, I am so... I'm just so upset about this. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, what else we got? We got Batman 569. Yeah. 569. This is the big issue right here. Pretty much paid. And now, you know, the condition, it's all depending. But this is Batman 570. And this right here is... Uh, I want to say it's the first appearance of Harley Quinn in the actual Batman uh, ongoing series. I know she has her Batman Harley Quinn number one, which is pretty much her first appearance in DC continuity. But this is her first appearance in the Batman in Batman series. Next up, Batman 573, Shell Game 1. Lex Luthor right there on the, uh, the cover. Uh, another big one, semi-key Batman, uh, Detective Comics 741. Uh, this is actually going to be the death of Sarah Essex, I want to say. It's going to be, it's the wife of um, James Gordon. Uh, yeah, this is a really big one. I wonder if, since it's already open, if I can get to that page where he does it to her. It's, uh, yeah, right here. So... They're saving these babies from uh, Joker has abducted these kids, and he hands her he hands her this kid, then he points the gun at her and, and kablooey kills her man. Next that next page, right there shoots her. So this is a really good one to get, guys. I, I would go out and find that book right there, Batman Detective Comics. All right, and this is the last the last bag. And um, I still can't believe this is how a comic shop, a comic shop would send books like this. Let me let me know what do, what do you guys think? Is it right that they did this, or you know it's it's messed up? I think I think uh, so. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight one twenty three, and I didn't talk about it, but as you can tell with No Man's Land, all of them are gonna have this sidebar right here that says No Man's Land. So uh, this is Legends of the Dark Knight one twenty three. Uh, this is Underground Railroad number one. So the deal with um, with No Man's Land is it would have different storylines in the book, right? So the first part of it is he's dealing with Penguin because everybody is set up in Gotham in different sections of the city and everybody kind of has their own piece. So the GCPD has their own little piece. Batman's got a piece up north. Uh, you got Penguin in his, in his ice, uh, Iceberg Lounge. Uh, Poison Ivy has hers. Uh, the Joker's pretty much running anywhere he wants, obviously. Scarecrow, I mean, it's it's a really good story. I'm about 35 deep out of 100 on that DC app. Uh, we got Legends of the Dark Knight, 116, Fear and Faith. And this looks like... Is this a Sink? A Bill Sinkovich cover? It certainly looks like it. I can tell right from... It doesn't say who the cover artist is on this one, but it looks like a Sinkovich cover. I don't know. Let me let me know, guys. I have to look it up. All right, uh, Legend of Dark Knight one seventeen. One eighteen. And Batman 561. So this is Road to No Man's Land. So there is uh, three, six, nine. There's 12 issues that lead into No Man's Land. And that's pretty much with um, where the, the earthquake happens. Then Bruce Wayne goes to, to Congress. Actually, he goes to Washington, D.C. to fight for Gotham, for them not to shut it down, for them to send aid. 
Um, and he kind of gets his butt kicked in Congress in front of everybody, and not in the literal sense of getting your butt kicked, but by the congressmen, they don't want to hear anything of it. And then the last one that I picked up here, and it is, this was the reason, this was the real reason that I picked this up, is because it's a newsstand. Uh, this is Batman No Man's Land number one. So this kicks off the whole No Man's Land series. It is a beautiful Alex Ross cover. And it is, like I said, the newsstand. I'm always looking for newsstand copies. Uh, so yeah, No Man's Land, I'm really into this. Uh, actually, I'm gonna show you, there's the map. There's the actual map inside of Gotham and how it's how it's broken up into different you know gang uh, gang territories. So Black Mask, the Blue Boys, which are GCPD. You got Huntress, Killer Croc, the Low Boys, Mad Hatter, Mister Freeze, Zaz, Penguin, Scarface, Two Face. So they all have a piece of it, and um, I'm I'm absolutely digging this. Let me know. Have you guys read No Man's Land or have you read bits and pieces of it? I know when you're going out there and you're looking through uh, through the Batman detective section, you always you always see these books with that that bar, you know, that that sidebar on there, but you never think about it as one long series. So, that's what I got off of eBay, guys. I'm quite disappointed with the way that this got shipped to me and uh, I really want to send it back. But looking at them, they don't look all that bad. And the price that I paid for them, guys, for, for that whole lot right there, uh, I paid $10. So, you know, there's 15 or 16 books in there with one of them being that, you know, that Batman, uh, what was it, Batman 570, which is kind of a Harley Quinn key. I, I might keep them, you know, uh, kind of sucks. But let me give you that name again, Gauntlet Comic Books. In North Miami, you will not get my business again. And I hope any of you that watch this channel that are from Miami, Florida, and you visit Gauntlet Comics, let them know Comic Jabroni is not happy. Uh, so that's what I got off of eBay. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little No Man's Land um, perspective or overview that I gave you. Um, hit that like button for me, guys. Write me a comment. Have you read No Man's Land? Is it a book that kind of interests you or is it a storyline that interests you? If it is, I'll do more, uh, a more deep, deeper dive into this series. I mean, there's a hundred books. I could break it down into, uh, into sections and do, do review for you, let you know uh, what this No Man's Land's all about. I'm really into it. If you're a Batman fan, you should definitely be reading this. It's a huge story that happened in, um, in Gotham City. So yeah, write me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if this is your first time watching my channel and you just happen to come across this No Man's Land uh, video, uh, think about hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification and subscribing to The Comic Jabroni. Dropping videos every week, at least one to two. Today I dropped two videos. So thanks for watching, guys. This weekend, I will not be on Coast to Coast, like I said, with Rod the Recon. I have... Uh, I have military duty that is coming to call, so I will be gone this whole weekend. Uh, but you should still go on there and watch Coast to Coast with Rod, with Rod the Recon, Jeffrey Comic Can. Uh, this week's going to be a big week. They're going to have my homie Kenny, Comic Head 84, and they're going to have uh, uh, Bueller on there. So, pretty big. Uh, you know, when Comic Brony can't be on there, they got to bring the big guns in. <laughs> Just joking. I absolutely love all those guys, man. They, they do some awesome stuff in the comic community. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace. That you and I are working here today is evidence of that evidence.